Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the mighty GSXR K8. Now, I've got some really bad news, as you've probably seen from the video title. I've sold this bike. I've sold my K8 GSXR. It was quite a hard decision to make, you know, I'll, but I'll go through all the whys and hows of it. Um, there is some positive, exciting news coming out of it, however. But uh, before I get into all the details, grab yourself a cup of tea and chop tea. So I absolutely love this bike. I absolutely love it. But the reason I'm selling it is because I've got five other motorcycles in here now and space is sort of getting at a premium. And I'm literally not riding this anymore. I'm finding it a little bit uncomfortable. Now I've got the GX. It's a similar engine to this, obviously, but in a much more comfortable package. So I'm, I'm, I just know I'm not going to use this this year. So it's just a waste having this bike sat here. So And I could really use the room. So that was why I decided to sell it. I was contacted by Lewis via email. He said, if you ever want to sell your GSXR, let me know. And I thought, oh, well, as it happens, Lewis, I may well be uh, getting rid of her. So, um, so yeah, she's going. Lewis is picking her up next week. I won't be riding this bike again. You won't see this bike again on the channel. So that's a real shame because this is a lovely, lovely machine. And Lewis is getting an absolute cracking, cracking machine here. So the bike is going. But there is some more positive news because, uh, first of all, I was like, yeah, I'm selling it, I need the space, I want the room in the garage. But then the old brain starts worrying, the old addiction kicks in and you think, oh, hang on a minute, what could I buy <laughs> if I've got a vacancy? Even though I haven't really got a vacancy because I want to make some space, but my brain has been worrying. Um, and I've decided what I'm going to do is like a new series of videos on the channel whereby I buy a bike, a cheaper bike, Sort of a bike up to sort of four or five thousand pounds and basically do some jobs on it do some videos on it and then sell it and buy another bike doing this youtube game it's really hard to get on used motorcycles none of the none of the dealers who have used bikes want to let them out again once they come in once they're in with fixed mileages and they've cleaned them all up they don't want them going out again so it's really really difficult to ride used bikes of course i could ride subscribers bikes but then the whole insurance of you know issue of insurance comes into it what if i end up writing off you know a subscriber's bike i'd have to replace it it's just a bit of a minefield with riding other people's machines so i thought let's let's do it this way let's buy a bike because obviously I'm, I'm completely aware that not everyone can afford these brand new motorcycles that us youtubers are riding you know no, no, one, no one can afford those machines not everyone wants to get PCP on a new bike, all that sort of thing. So there's a great deal of really, really good used motorcycles out there. Prime example, this one right here. So what I'm gonna do is buy a bike for between say three and 5,000 pound, do some videos on it. It may need some small jobs, so we'll do some jobs on it, we'll get it up together. And what I'm even thinking is perhaps I can contact one of these giveaway companies and actually end up giving the bike away and selling tickets to the bike as part of the whole process of having these machines. So we buy one, we do it up, we do a load of videos on it, and over say the space of four or five months, and then we end up selling it at the end of it and maybe raffle it away to you guys. So that's my plan. I mean, that um, I need to do, get a bit more meat on the bones of my outline of a plan, but that's what I'm thinking. But the good news is I have found my first motorcycle. I went up to see it last week. I took it out for a little bit of a test ride. Here it is. I've always wanted one of these. I love these bikes. I've always wanted one of these. Have a look at this. So there she is, the Yamaha R1. Now I've just been round to the fella's house. Um, he knew I was, so he's like, oh, do you want to take it out? Just take it out for a spin. So I've took it out, I've gone around the block. It seems all pretty good. It's a little bit clunky going into second. Now I don't know if that's just what they're like or what. The condition's pretty nice. I mean, if you get really close, you know, it needs a little bit of cleaning up in places. The other little bolts gone a bit furry. But I think the overall condition of everything is actually pretty, pretty decent. Tiny little mark here. But, you know, this is uh, however old this bike is, 30 years old, however old it is. It's, a, it's an old machine. It's nice that it's got the original carbon 
can and it sounds like a sewing machine it's so it sounds really nice i'll start it up again in a second but this is the original r1 chain of sprockets desperate new chain of sprockets are needed um but it's all pretty nice it's all pretty nice these are i think harris rear sets he's got the standard rear sets the fella he's got all the bits but you know it, you know it needs a little bit of a clean up in places but overall you know for the age of the bike i think it's in uh, exceptionally good exceptionally good condition really you know for for a bike which has been used a bike which has not been sat in storage you know a bike which has been ridden throughout the whole whole period you know it's got all the mot's going right back and you know most years it's been on the road it's done a few miles so which is good isn't it it's not just been sat about it's used to being used but uh, yeah, there she is so far. So far I am pretty impressed and it's really what I was looking for. Sort of money I was looking to spend. It's got an alarm on it. It's got some dodgy alarm on, data tool alarm. That'll go, hate alarms, that'll come straight off. But you know, choke, you know, it's carbed. This one is obviously carbed. It's not a fuel injected model. No, that's all right there. I thought I'd spotted a little bit of something there, but even that's fine. So, you know, overall, it's pretty decent condition, pretty decent condition. Now, how can you have all these keys? How can you have all these keys touching the top yoke? It's criminal, it's criminal. I mean, that could probably do with a little bit of a polish up. How many miles is it? Oh, shit. Oh, I've done it now. 26,000, 26,000 miles. Which is all right, isn't it? Let's fire it up, it is warm. A bit of throttle. The sounds sweet. I mean, these are five valves per cylinder. These original R ones. It's got a crash mushroom here. Look, is that drilled? It's not. It's not drilled through the fairing. I don't think that's a normal fairing bolt there. Sounds pretty sweet, doesn't it? Sounds pretty sweet. I've always loved these. I've always loved the original R1. Obviously had the fire blade. It's got so much grunt. I forgot, I wasn't expecting to actually ride it, to be perfectly honest. So I didn't even have my helmet camera on, so I couldn't, can't give you any uh, onboard footage, but there she is. That's what I'm thinking of buying. Do you approve? The legendary R1, the original R1. I think that's a 1999 bike. They came out, that, that's the first model, which was out in 98, 99. I think it's a 99, because um, it has slightly different graphics on it to the 98 bike. Um, that cost me three and a half thousand pounds. Three and a half thousand pounds. I thought those original old ones were worth much more money than that. I know it's not a red and white one, which is the one which demands more of a premium, but I actually prefer the look of the blue one. So it's going to be quite a lot. It needs some little jobs doing to it, some tarting up, new chain of sprockets. You know, it needs some work. So we're bringing the gauge, getting the workshop, get the jobs done, strip it all down, see what it's like under the fairing, go through the whole bike, do the jobs which need doing. And then we're going to do some comparisons on it. So we're going to do a comparison between the original R1 and the latest R1, or the final R1. So we're going to do a comparison between the original R1 and the, uh, the latest R1. You know, lots of other rides on it, maybe some other comparisons on it and then uh, give it away to one of you lucky people via some sort of giveaway. The giveaway companies, you know, they're everywhere now, aren't they? So if I can team up with one of the giveaway companies and give the bike away. So um, that's the plan, whether the giveaway part can work or not, but I, I, if not, I'll sell it to somebody and then I'll spend that money on another bike. So that's gonna be the first bike in this series of videos, the legendary original R1. So I can't wait to get, I'm picking it up next week We'll do a first ride on it as well when I pick it up. And then, uh, yeah, we'll start that series of videos on the legendary R1. And then we will be doing those bikes. So it basically, you know, I want to sort of connect more with these older machines because these older machines are absolutely fantastic. You know, the new stuff's brilliant. Not everyone can afford that. So let's go back to the roots. And these are the sort of bikes I was buying, you know, when I started off motorcycling, before I started all of this YouTube business and got access to all these new machines. I was riding and buying bikes like that. 
So uh, if that sounds of interest, you know what you've got to do? You've got to subscribe, like the video, and uh, I hope you're not too sad about the KA going. I mean, I do love this bike. The reason I was going to do this video on a ride out, but I thought I don't really want to ride it again because I might change my mind and want to keep it. So I thought I'll just do it in the garage. I won't ride it for fear of me changing my mind and not wanting to sell it. So uh, she's gorgeous, she's beautiful. It's done me proud, this bike, but uh, it's got to go. Things have got to move on. And I think the original R1, it's a beautiful machine. So uh, yeah, it's going to be quite exciting. So there we go, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, exciting things to come. I hope you agree. See you next time.